Hello YouTube and welcome to the first episode of the Stardew Valley. So I kinda was hesitant to start this series because uh, I kinda felt that the game was maybe a little bit, um, well it looked a little bit weird for my part of or my point of view, but um, well a friend of mine actually convinced me to buy the game and play it and um, well it kinda looks cool. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna make a new game. And our name is gonna be Hannibal, of course. Uh, the farm name is gonna be called Summerland. And our favorite thing is. Beer? Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. Uh, are we a dog or a cat person? We are definitely a cat person. Um, the skin, let's see here. We can be blue or green. Oh, cool. Uh, let's be... Well, as white as we can, because I literally are never out in the sun. So, that looks cool. Um, here... Hmm, I don't know if there is any here that... Wow. Fit me here, which actually, well, actually I had here like that once upon a time. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we have black here. Um, accessories. Ooh, full beard. Wow, I don't know um, if that is. Um, what is up with that? Earrings. I don't know. Should we have any... A red scarf, perhaps? Uh, I don't think so. I'm not a um, scarf person. Um, wait, what? Is that a duck beak? Alright. Alright, let's go for that one. Shirt. Is that a Minecraft diamond armor? No, perhaps not. Black shirt. Pants color. Definitely gonna be black. Uh, eye color. Uh, we have a uh, kind of grayish blue eyes. Uh, I think. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's go with this. So our name is our name is Hannibal. Our name is Summerland, our favorite thing in the whole wild world is beer, we are a cat person, we are a male, and there we go. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. there, Grandpa. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of the modern life. And your bright sprite will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you will be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX year later. <laughs> oh man, this brings me back. Oh boy. Terminated. Well, looks like one is happy at least. Oh, there is us! I feel like... Oh, look at the guy in the... Well, right end. I think he has a couple of vacation days to take out. Ah, 
there is our envelope. Dear Hannibal, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what matters the most in life, real connection with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belonged. I enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Summerland Farm, is located in Stardew Valley on the south southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. Oh. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to that old guy for me, will ya? Yeah, sure. Um. It's been quite a drive, I guess, to get there from the city. Hello, you must be Hannibal. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now. Tidying things up for you, for your arrival. The farm is right over here, if you follow me. Oh man. <laughs> Look like uh, nature really did a number on this area. This is Summerland Farm. Oh gosh. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit of overgrown, but there, there is some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you will have it cleaned out in no time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, put me back in my cubicle. I want to call and sell calendars and lottery tickets over the phone. And here we are, your new home. Lewis. Ah, the new farmer! Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of uh, Pelican Town? Pelican Town? Hmm. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Is it now? So, you're moving in to your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yup. Rustic, that is one way of putting it. Crusty might be a little more adepto. Rude! <laughs> Don't listen to her, Hannibal. She's just trying to make you distaste what? Distasteful so you can buy one of her house upgrades. Ouch. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you're out to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The town people would appreciate that. All right, Mayor Lewis. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I guess it means this box over here. I'll come back during the night to collect it. Wow. I think that is a little bit creepy. Well, good luck. Thank you there, Lewis. And... And I forgot her name. I, I don't think... Alright. 
we have a rooster. I think we are going to have chicken wings for breakfast this day. Oh, what is that? We have a package. Parsnip seeds, 15. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Well, that is really nice. That is our journal, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Alright, and interruptions. It will be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around the town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Alright, so we have met two out of how many was it? 28. Alright. So let's have a look. So this is our farm. And I guess we'll just have to clear away. Oh, oh we have a pickaxe. That is nice. And an axe. Just to clear away some of the stuff here. Make a little room for a little farm. Oh, what is that? Mix seed. There is a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what will grow. Alright, that seems like a little bit of a scary thing to do. Alright, so let's see here. Oh, we have a little lake here as well. Hello. seeds and how should we lay out the farm? That is the question. Can we chop down the big trees? Uh, it kind of looks like it. Oh, look in the air. We have a energy bar it looks like. Does it go down? Yeah, it does. Okay. So... We just have a certain amount of energy we can use per day. Well, makes sense actually. This should be a, a good enough spot. So we use the whole. Oh. One, two, three. Six. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright, let's just make a, oops, a big patch of um, stuff, and then we'll sow the seeds. Like so, and we have to water them every day. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice. actually pretty nice. Um, Monday first. Wait, what? First Monday? Or Monday the first? Alright, so now we have um, done that. Let's go into the town. Is it the map? Yeah, it is a map. Alright, looks like it's just a straight path over here. Let's take us to town. I mean, I feel like we look more than a, like a lumberjacker than anything else. <laughs> so this is the town. What is this? Whoops. Hello? Oh. Um, right click. So, it's spring. Monday 1st. Alright. So, that is something, I guess. Can we go in here? Hello. Well, hello there, I'm Gus. Jeff, an owner of the Stardrop Saloon. Oh. So, are you preventing me to go anywhere? Okay. Maybe we should let him out first. 
first. Oh, it's not oh that's right. I heard someone new was moving into the old farm. Oh. What is this? Bug plant? No. It's Marnie. Oh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello. Who are you? Can we talk to you? It's Pia. Hey, it's Mr. Hannibal. The new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I also buy products from... I also buy products <laughs> uh, from you for a good price. Oh, well, that's very nice of you. So can we buy anything here? For sale. Do we want to buy a backpack upgrade? 24 slots. Um, 2,000 gold? And we only have 5? Um, sorry, not now. Um, oh, that is how it works. So, should we buy some more seeds? We already have parsnip seeds, so perhaps... Um, well, we don't have that much money. We have only have 500. I don't know, do we have to pay, pay like rent or something? Let's buy five. That should be a good amount, I guess. Let's um, head back to our farm. Let's see what's up here. Daffodil, or <laughs> daffodil, <laughs> a daffodil. Yeah, um, I guess that is something. Uh, <laughs> what does it do? A traditional spring flower that makes a nice gift. Oh. Well. All right. Where should we put our bean thing? Is I think perhaps let's. Um, Let's just make another row. Well, I was thinking more like this. Alright, and we plant a seed. Oh, we can't... Um, we can't uh, go past them. Alright. And we have to water them. There we go. And we should probably also get rid of those plants here. There we go. Try to just get rid of some of the crap that lies around the farm, just so it doesn't become overgrown. I don't know how it works, but just have a little clean area where we... Um, Let's uh, chop down the tree here. Oh. There we go. Another stone. Alright, so we have to water the plants every day. Um, and I wonder how long the day actually is. Oh. Let's remove some of this here. Hmm. This is actually a pretty messy place. Let's see, is it any big? Alright, it looks like it could be a... Oh wait, what do we have here? Alright, I kind of feel like this reminds me a little bit of Zelda. Zelda the farming simulator. <laughs> Whatever this once was, it's now a ruin. Wow. Good to you. Let's go and see here. Let's bring up, I don't know, the pickaxe. What do we have in here? Nothing. Alright. Oh, can we clear our way in here? Let's see what is. What this is. Let's see here. You. And you. And you have to go. So what do we have up here? 
Well, that's the highway. Hmm. Looks like there aren't anything here. Let's move on. Oh, look at house. Wait, what was that? Is that a caveman? Hello? Linus. Ah, stranger, hello! Hello to you, good sir. Um, can we get down here? What is this? Hello? Nothing? Can, let's not vandalize the place. <laughs> oh! Hello! Demetrius, greetings. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Demetrius. Um, now, can we go into the garage? Oh. oh, Robin. Robin was her name. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. Yeah, it does, but... Alright. No? You were just blocking me? Oh, hello. Did you see the bunny? Ooh, what do we have here? A tree. All right. Anything behind a tree? No. All right. Should we head home and let's see if we can remember the way? Uh, I wonder if there is some sort of fast travel. Now, what is that? Social map. All right, what else do we have? Crafting. Ooh. All right. A collection. Nothing. All right. Let's uh, try to go home. Looks like it's getting dark outside, so I don't know if there will be monsters spawning here. Well, let's hope not. So wasn't it just this way? Yeah, there we go. Almost home. And... Alright, now it looks like we have to... dig our way through this area here. To get home. Oh, that way. There we go. Oh, look at that. Plant fiber. All right, everything okay here? Looks like it. All right, let's um, go home and um, perhaps watch some TV before we go to bed. Oh, weather report. Welcome to Kosu 5, your number one source of weather, news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Uh, was that everything? Fortune teller. Who? I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. Oh. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Oh, that is very nice. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for ya. Now listen up. Maybe we should have seen this before we started out this day. This one is for all of you greenhorns out there. Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting for your first harvest. Oh. Well, that's a good tip. Thank you. Can we drink some tea? No? Inventory is full. All right, but yeah, I think this is uh, it for this uh, first day of uh, Stardew Valley. I really hope you like it. If you want to see more, don't be afraid to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But most of all, don't forget to keep smiling.